Hey everyone, um, so in this video I will show you how to update your, I mean how to read your phone and how to put the MCR R2 uh, ROM. So first of all it's the same procedure for both things. Um, if you are in JG1, if you've updated to this firmware, I highly suggest you go ahead and, and do and flash this ROM, the MCR R2, because it fixes a couple of problems that JG2, JG1 has, I mean. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this process of flashing the ROM is actually simpler than flashing the firmware. And remember, flashing this MCR R2 will root your phone at the same time. So what I did here is I selected my options and I baked my own ROM. To bake your own ROM, you have to be a, you have to be an ad-free member of Monaco, and that's a nine-dollar a year-long membership. So there's no pre-baked um, ROMs as of yet. Uh, Paul hasn't brought them out yet, but he said they'll be up soon. Alright, so I, I've already downloaded the, the ROM down here, as you can see. And once we go here, show the folder. So you're going to change this really long name. You're going to change it to update. Dot zip. Oh, that's going to give me an error because I have another one. Let's put update one for the moment. And then I'll delete this one. There we go. So now you're just gonna uh, pretty much reconnect your Galaxy S. Okay, so I just reconnected the USB to my Galaxy S and now I am in the Samsung Kais mode so I can transfer files to my computer. So I go back to my computer. Just open the device over here, the phone. This is the SD card my phone. It just has those two folders. And I'm gonna grab this update and copy it and paste it over here. Alright, perfect. So now that that's in my phone, I will just turn off my Galaxy S. Perfect. So once the Galaxy S is off, I will turn it on using the following method. You and remember for the flash you use volume down, then the home button, and then you use the power, the power button up here, all three at the same time. For flashing a ROM, you enter another mode. You have to first, you have to use volume up, then the home key, and then the power button at the same time. Okay. 
and you should be entering this mode as you can see right here now if you can read over here the second option it says apply SD card update.zip so you move to that option and then you just hit the home button down here and it's off it's installing it now this is the um, Monaco MCR R2 based on the JG1 um, firmware this this um, this ROM will root your phone you don't need to have your phone rooted for this ROM to install this ROM this will root your phone for you and yeah that's pretty much it right there there it's installed now your phone should boot you should have uh, root access and all the features that Paul included in this ROM now this boot should take quite some time usually when you flash a ROM it's gonna take a lot longer than usual to turn on and that's also why the the sound came on before the animation and the phone's doing the first boot so don't be alarmed if you have to wait a while alright so yeah. the phone has booted and now we have the MCR R2 um, if you have already played around with it a little bit you won't lose any of your settings from before uh, you're gonna have wave secure you're gonna have fancy widget you're gonna have a ton of new features that Paul included and of course you're rooted you have super user permissions you, he included the titanium backup which you can use to back up your files it's pretty cool and uh, voice search a couple of other stuff and that's it that's how simple it is um, I hope this helps you guys and that's it for today. Uh, let me just show you what I'm running. So, if we look at this, we have the baseband version JG1. And, yeah. As you can see down here, MCR R2. We're running the MCR R2 ROM right now. And, yep. Yeah. That's it for today, guys.